so this is the equipment or essentially where you can see the st statistics of the ship you can see the hull what torpedoes they use as for this one they use the deep water torpedoes which only do damage to battleships cruise uh, cruisers and sea bees also in the exterior you can also add in special customizers that you can use in battle to you know benefit your ship how much stuff it gets money experience commander xp i'll get into that later and yeah credits now the tech tree to the right is more of everything it shows you everything on a specific country country like the USSR or Russia this is what I have see that I have that because of the check mark and everything else I can buy and you need experience in order to get some stuff now as for the commander right here you see commander experience these are commander skills you can use them to upgrade your ship and other stuff now you can move it over to another ship after you purchase the next ship but that's a little bit more difficult you need a, a spare per a vacant slot in the reserve the armory is a place where you can buy resources where actually you can purchase premium ships which are essentially better than regular ships you can also purchase containers as seen here commanders customizers which are very good to use in battle and also you can purchase doubloon and premium premium is really only good whenever you're going to be you know grinding a lot and it kind of takes a little while but essentially don't use the doubloons for anything except for ships everything else is overrated and featured is just like the normal stuff that's bought stuff um, there's also containers you get experience and and if you get a certain amount of experience you get these containers now there's this one option called try your luck generally don't do it it can get you some good stuff but i don't advise it because it's not that good Up here you can see this little emblem thing. You can modify that to certain things that you that you can get. There's this emblem that you can change it to. And the ones that are highlighted you can put on like this. That actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that actually looks pretty cool. But generally you can use now those are given by certain things. One that I have. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I don't know. Oh well. Um. Now, there's this clan sign right here. This is like your group or your shipmates that you can have. Now, if you have a clan, you have these things called like steel port. Now. This one we do not currently have. Yeah, we don't have this. We need more oil. And then we have the coal port. I think, yeah, we have that. We completely have that. And then, you know, everything else. Also, if you're in a clan, you have a discount on most ships. Now you can view your members over here. Generally, I'm a recruiter. Well, I'm a recruiter. I don't know about anything else. But I'm a recruiter. Where would I be? Right here. Recruiter, right there. You can also see your profile over here. Uh, not that. That's like stuff. You can get stuff from here like that. 
this is all of your achievements, like of what you've gotten. I told you to you up. This, these are the ranks. Actually, I haven't even done this, to be honest. <laughs> then there's also the summary. The summary is like the summary of what ships you use and what ship you're actually talking about. Over here you can pick which ship that you can use. There's a lot of ships that you can use, so be mindful of that. You can also change your port, which is kind of nice. It's a little weird, but some people like it. I like it. My parents, most of the time, they just change it. Let's, let's just have you watch me play a battle with this dude. I like this dude. He's cool. stations. Destroyer.
enemy destroyer blown up. Our team has taken the lead. Slope main turret critically damaged. destroyed. Our victory is in sight. Screen set. Engine boost activated. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. 